Who are you? What are you doing here? What nature has created in the form of human species is something extraordinary. It's unparalleled creation. And culture is interested in fitting the actions of all human beings into a common mode. And that's because they are interested in maintaining the status quo, the value system. That is where the real conflict is. The thought in its very nature can only create problems, cannot help us to solve the problem and become one with it. We don't seem to realize that it is the thought that is separating us from the totality of things and the demand that this is the one that can help us to keep that totality always there is not going to succeed. So it has come up with all kinds of ingenuous, if I may use that word, ideas of uh, insight, intuition, they come up with all and every kind of phrases is to cover up the impossibility of trying to use those words to understand the reality of things. You see, that is where the real problem is. See, nobody knows anything about life. We have only a conceptual ideations and mentations of life. And even the scientists who are trying to understand life, its origin, come up with theories, definitions of life. We really do not know anything about life. And all thought, all our thinking is dead. It is born out of dead ideas. So the thought or the thinking mechanism trying to touch life, experience life and capture that life and give expression to that life is an impossible task. So what we are concerned about is living. And we assume that there is such a thing as a soul, that there is such a thing as a spirit, that there is such a thing as I. What I assert all the time is that I haven't found anything like I there, any center there, any self there, any soul there. This question haunted me all through my life. And suddenly it hit me that there is no self to realize what the hell you have been doing all the time. That hits you like you see a lightning, you know. When once that hits you, the whole mechanism of the body that is controlled by this thought is shattered. And what is left with is the tremendous living organism with an intelligence of its own. And what you are left with is the pulse, the beat and throb of life. That's all that is there. 